Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethel Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week, we've been looking at an encounter between Jesus and Mary and Joseph when Jesus was just 12 years old. As they're traveling back to Nazareth, Jesus separates himself from Mary and Joseph. When they discover he's missing, they go looking for him. And three days later, they find him in the temple in Jerusalem. When they confront him, Jesus says, why are you looking for me? You should have known I'd be about the Father's business. So this week we've been talking about what it means to be about the Father's business. We know for Jesus that meant he was on a mission of redemption, restoration, and salvation for you and I. But what's it mean for you and I to be about the Father's business? Today we're going to walk through some Old Testament and New Testament scripture because I think these scriptures speak loudly about what it means to be about the Father's business. We're going to start in Leviticus chapter 19. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Now we're going to move forward to Matthew, the 19th chapter. And behold, a man came up to him saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you would enter life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now we're going to move forward to Matthew chapter 22. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Now we're going to move forward to Mark, the 12th chapter. Which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And we're going to move forward to Luke chapter 10. A lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Now we're going to move forward to the epistles, uh, to Romans the 13th chapter. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And we're going to finish up. Nope, actually we're going to move to Galatians, the fourth chapter or fifth chapter. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And now our last piece of scripture comes from James, the second chapter. If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. Old Testament, Gospels, Epistles, they all repeat the same thing. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is a theme I've talked about before, but as I look out in the world, this is a message and a lesson worth repeating. We're called to love our neighbor as ourself. That's what it means to be about God's business. And Jesus makes it clear when he tells the parable of the Good Samaritan, that our neighbor is everyone. People we disagree with. People who look different than us. People who have hurt us. 
and of course, our neighbors. We're called to love one another. That's what it means to be about God's business. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's in the Bible so many times because it's important. It's important as a Christian to hold on to that, to live that, to be an example of that. Love your neighbor as yourself. Hopefully you found some comfort in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. If there's anything I can do for you, you can reach me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Be about God's business. Love your neighbor as yourself.